is an unsettled soul. It's never good when your uh, when your when your medical update is uh, the dumdy of the day. Now, there's two stories here, and you're gonna want to hear both of them. Uh, first and foremost, the New York Post, the best of the New York papers, by the way, the only very honest one, um, at least mainstream. Uh, Ohio judge that orders that COVID nineteen take two. Ohio judge orders that COVID-19 patient be treated with ivermectin, which no agency recommends. Here's the problem with this. A doctor, a doctor prescribed the medicine. They say that well, the FDA hasn't approved it for that. Up until a week ago, the FDA hadn't approved the vaccine. So was it not working because it wasn't approved? I'm, I'm utterly confused here. An Ohio judge on Monday ordered a hospital to treat a COVID-19 patient with ivermectin. Um, it says it's an unproven virus treatment and a livestock dewormer. It's going against the CDC and the FDA recommendations. Well, good. Because the FDA and the uh, CDC seem to be wrong, and the benefits of ivermectin, since they're working, seem to be right. So, why would you give wrong ways the same amount of time that you would give right ways? I just, I've never understood that. There are times that I wish I would have been nicer about saying it, but man, I just never understood that philosophy, friend. Jeffrey Smith, 51, contracted the coronavirus in early July and has been in the intensive care unit on a ventilator at Westchester Hospital in Cincinnati for weeks, according to the Ohio Capital Journal. His wife, Julie Smith, filed a lawsuit against the hospital on August 20th, demanding an emergency order for the use of the animal med medication in the Butler County Court in a last-ditch effort to keep her husband alive as he is on death's doorstep. Whatever happened to the right to try? On August 23rd, thank God, Butler County Judge Gregory Howard, who should get the opposite of the Dump Cap of the Month Award, he ordered that Dr. Fred Wuchel's prescription of 30 milligrams of ivermectin daily for three weeks be filled as requested by his wife and his legal guardian. We now have medical professionals saying that this can save lives and people trying to politicize it. Ivermectin is approved, by the way, for both humans and animals, but animal drugs are concentrated at levels that can be highly toxic to humans. I'm sure the doctor took that into account. It's probably not his first time doing it. It says that the poison control calls are coming in. Yeah, because people are trying to do it themselves. I don't think that that would be very wise. But if your doctor tells you to do it, then you can either go with his advice or not. Sometimes doctors give horrible advice. This guy wanted to go with his doctor's advice, and there was absolutely no reason why he shouldn't have been allowed to. Jeffrey, on, on July 27th, it says, after a period of relative stability, Jeffrey's condition began to decline, the lawsuit says, and Jeffrey became unstable as his oxygen levels dropped. His condition continued to decline, and he was sedated, intubated, that means put a hole in your and inflate your lung, and placed on a ventilator on August 1st. You're 50-50, usually after you've been on a ventilator. Yeah, you can go either way from there. Several subsequent serious infections left Smith with roughly 30% chance of survival by August 20th when he remained on the ventilator in a medically induced coma. At this point, the defendant hospital had exhausted its course of treatment and COVID-19 protocol in treating Jeffrey, which, is which was unacceptable to Mrs. Smith, the lawsuit states, is. Jeffrey has been on a ventilator for 19 days, the complaint continues. He is on death's doorstep. There is no further COVID-19 treatment protocol for the defendant to offer to Jeffrey, 
Mrs. Smith does not want to see her husband die, and she is going to do everything that she can to give him a chance. The lawsuit did not mention whether Jeffrey Smith had been vaccinated. If he was, then could have made it worse. Allegedly. Only allegedly, though, because you know on this show, the endorsement phase. I don't want to get this video banned, so boy, I sure do trust those vaccines. The uh, Smiths have been married for 24 years. They have three children. Okay, I, you get the point. Good thing is, uh, it looks like he's going to pull through. They haven't released the, the, the final on this, but you know, there's hope, friends. There's hope because someone did the right thing. The second half of this, I said that you want to stick around for. Um, there's been some ambiguity at first when I first heard this as to whether or not the uh, official stepped down because he was worried about the children in this next story or if he was worried about government overreach. By that I mean, did he not like the way that the government was making him do things or was this more along the lines of him being afraid of what the decision was going to do as it relates to the children. And upon studying it, I've seen that, unfortunately, it's both. I'll make this quick for you. Fox Business senior FDA officials to step down over a disagreement with White House on booster shots. Two Food and Drug Administration senior officials are reportedly stepping down from their posts over a disagreement with the White House on the administration of booster shots. In a statement to CNBC, the FBA said that Marion Gruber, director of the agency's Office of Vaccines Research and Review, and her deputy director, Phil Cruz, will leave in October and November, respectively. The duo was reportedly frustrated that the CDC and Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices was spearheading decisions that should be the responsibility of the FDA, the biotech news outlet Endpoint News reported, citing a former senior FDA leader as its source. Uh, they said that Gruber and Cruz finally decided to step down after the Biden administration went ahead with a booster program starting the week of September 20th without FDA approval. Earlier this month, President Biden has said that the plan was for every adult to get the booster shot eight months after getting the second shot. The White House decision comes amid a surge of highly transmissible Delta variant COVID-19 studies. What they're saying is the government, listen to what they're saying. The medical experts here, the ones that are stepping down are saying, look, we are being forced. Our hands are being forced to do things which we find to be medically questionable. Let me know what you think, especially you opera news people. Leave me comments, comments, comments. I really need it. I appreciate it. I want to hear from you. Thanks.